All right, and speaking of Jackson State, the Jackson State Sonic Boom Marching Band will be a part of this weekend's South Jackson Proud Parade. Joining me now to talk about these, uh, the Proud Parade, I'd like to welcome to the show Mr. Dow Taylor. He's the director of bands at Jackson State University. Also, Rod Little, the marching band director at Jackson State. And Ernest Ward, he is a uh, Mississippi resident. Welcome to the show, fellas. Thank you for Thank having you us. So, first of all, w w this is the Proud Parade, and I know everybody in South Jackson is excited about it. So how excited are you about being involved in this, Mr. Taylor? Oh, it's a great deal for us. It's always a great deal for us when we can uh, have the opportunity to nurture the nexus that we have with the community mm -hmm. because, you know, Jackson State is that focal point. We get a lot of students from surrounding areas. We are from those areas. Mm -hmm. I'm from Shady Oak. Rod is from an area right in Jackson. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just happy to be a part of that parade to uh, mm -hmm. assist them in their efforts to show pride mm -hmm. in where they live and the neighborhood association. And, and Rod, you know, everybody wants to see the sonic boom. How, right. I mean, that's the highlight of the parade, I would, I would assume. So how did, how did the, and they're always busy. You know, sonic booms, all everybody's pulling Right, in. we how definitely are. those guys in it? Well, um, the, the students they they really believe in community service, uh, and, and they they know that the that the program is a is a reputable reputable force for the university, and so we always just like to take the program and uh, display it for the university and also take it to those particular areas and make an impact because uh, I remember seeing the sonic boom as a student, as, as a young student, mm -hmm. and uh, once I saw that band for the first time, it, it ensured within me that I can be there one day. And so not only do we want to be there for the community, we also want to make an impact on younger students that's going to be a part of the parade also. Yeah, this is great, man. I know a lot of people in that area probably never got a chance to go to a game and see the, see the band. I know they're excited about the, the sonic boom because when I heard the sonic boom, I was like, what? So this must be <laughs> It's a real deal parade. Yeah. Right, right. We, we definitely tend to take things to, to the next level, and, and that's that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, not only do we do national performances, we like to do local performances as well. That's important. Mm -hmm. And now, Ernest, uh, you, you're telling me that this is the second year yeah, second for this. Year. How, how did it go the first year? It went real great. Uh, I was surprised. Uh, there's something that uh, Ash Jane, which you call the Association of South Jackson Neighborhood, uh, we thought about it, and we felt that it was nice to have a parade and bring pride back to South Jackson. Mm -hmm. That's something that we know that we could put together. Mm -hmm. All the problems that we have in the city. Yeah. How, well, when, you, when you talk about this, why was this important to do this for South Jackson? Well, uh, South Jackson always seemed like you get a bad rap. Every time you turn on the TV is uh, South Jackson. Mm -hmm. You know, we got South Jackson, we got Southwest Jackson, and we got about 60,000 people that live in South Jackson. Mm -hmm. But uh, we do have a lot of great things happening in Jackson. And, uh, and the bad thing like it overshadowed and this was an opportunity to bring the community together mm -hmm. and uh and communicate and be able to show people we still got some good people living in south jackson all right that's fantastic well mr taylor as the director of bands is it will the entire band be be there because there's a bunch of them <laughs> you know <laughs> actually um, it will only be a, a small unit from the band. Which is still a big unit. We call it our, <laughs> uh, probably around 50, 60 people. Mm -hmm. We call it our pep band. This is the presidential tour band. Mm -hmm. We've been traveling with uh, Dr. Bynum this semester. Mm -hmm. He's out really trying to drum up uh, mm -hmm. students for the university through recruitment tours. Mm -hmm. So we're taking that group because the entire band has been extraordinarily busy mm -hmm. this semester. And so we're trying to get them ready to exit by allowing a time for them to take their final exams mm -hmm. and things of that nature. So we don't pull all of them. We're just going to okay. pull a representative group. Okay. So, Rob, when we talk, the band, we talk about drum majors, J sets, everything? No. Yeah, yeah, the, the whole gambit. So we're going to have the full band there, um, but it's just just a truncated piece of, of, of the full Sonic Boom of the South. Well, let me ask you this. In, in covering um, basketball tournaments and, and, and things like this, when Jackson State goes to to uh, the, the, goes to the NCAA tournaments and, and play against you know bigger schools, LSU and all of these places, and the band is there, the folk there are just amazed by how loud Jackson State play. They, they even asked me one time. I think we were at LSU, and they said, "Where do they get their instruments from? Because <laughs> they play so much louder than ours." How do you? I want to know. How do, do you get your instruments from another place? No, they they actually all come from the same place. <laughs> it's just a, a different type of flair and energy. Mm -hmm. um, you know that that our culture is, is really just known for just kind of taking things to to another level, a different level. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's just it's whatever floats your boat is just a different way in which 
we kind of uh, uh, get our message to our crowd mm -hmm. at Jackson State University. And so our students, they, they love it. And uh, we just like to call it that Sonic Boom Energy. <laughs> That's what we call it. <laughs> so when do you start preparing your routine for football season? Oh, man, uh, we, we actually have preseason band camp that starts in August. So r really, really, to be honest, it never ends. It's kind of mm -hmm. an ongoing cycle right now. We are developing our leadership right now as mm -hmm. we speak for the following year. Uh, but we really uh, get things started in, in August, the, the first weekend in August. Wow. Well, do you guys have a certain team that you really want to go at it or, or, or do a special performance against? Is it, or does it? Well, we, we, we have some special things coming up this season. We, of course, we open the season with Bethune-Cookman, and then we have the Capital City Classic where we go and play Kentucky State. So we have some special games this mm -hmm. season. But uh, we always say we have to do better than the last Sonic Boom. As you know, Mr. Taylor was here back in the 80s, and then he uh -huh. came back and helped, helped us out um, in, in the early 2000s. And so we have to make sure that we beat those 80s bands. <laughs> that, that he, I'm that, going to that tell you, that he, <laughs> <laughs> tell you the, the, the most, the, one of the, the things I enjoyed the most, one halftime show, I think it was against Southern where you guys utilized the, the jumbo yeah, trial and showed their mistakes. Right. That was that was super funny. That yeah. was super, super funny. Well, you know, in the 21st century, you have to do things like that. You always have to come up with different ideas, uh, you know, to, as, as I mentioned, to, to, be, to, to be better than the previous Sonic Boom. So. Mm -hmm. And, and with, with the band marching in, I even had a, a coach from Alcorn telling me, I really like to see those drum majors come in. I don't tell nobody that. But yeah, <laughs> but man, the Sonic Boom is fantastic coming into uh, this proud parade. And, and, and Ernest, is that one of the things that you know you're excited to see? Oh, I'm really excited. I, I'm so glad that Stuart decided that to uh, to uh, uh, be with for this year, and hope there's something that we can make an angry event out of. Because he mentioned something about uh, students, and uh, this is an opportunity to draw students to uh, get people to come back that used to live here, mm -hmm. get them to come back and and see the band. And uh, so we hoping that will be also a recruitment to also for the, for the Sunday Boom for Jackson State. But well, that's great, man. This is going to take place uh, Saturday. What time does it start? It started at 9 o'clock at uh, uh, Robert Road Extension Sun, Suncrest uh, Intersection at 9 o'clock. And uh, we're going to march all the way down to Kadosha Middle School where we're going to have all a 601 live band there. And also going to have a DJ who had all type of information uh, Trust me, I'm going to have a scred truck there for people that got personal documents that need a scred. And we're going to have A&R, we're going to have uh, uh, food for the children, we're going to have a, uh, a, a, a kid corner wow. for games and painted faces. So that's where the infusion, so uh, Space Jump, we have, we were looking forward to have a great time. Now, Ernest, when I, if I come out there, and I don't act like you don't know me. Okay. <laughs> I don't do it like they did me at the Jackson Medical. Oh, okay. What you want? Who you with? <laughs> now, but, oh, hey we, hey, we know you don't have to worry about that. We know. <laughs> well, anything else you guys like to add about the parade, about the band, or anything? Well, we're just happy to be a part of this event. Uh, it, it is important for us to stay involved with the community, and this is an excellent opportunity, and we appreciate the invitation. Yes, sir. And, man, like I said, uh, great job by the band. You guys are in, in the Meg Everest Parade. Everything that happens in the city, the band, you know, if they can be there, they are there. And, and we really appreciate it also. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for coming this morning. You're welcome back any time, right? You know you're oh, yeah. Back anytime, right? You don't come, you don't come see me at all. Yeah, we, we, need, we need to come by more often, Rob. We need to come by more often. Yes, sir. All right, thank you, guys. We look forward to seeing you at the parade this weekend. All right, we're back with more after the break.